Welcome to the first Fun and Fix of the new season. Now it's always tough to let go, and that's certainly the case for our previous season. Crown champions, record breakers, scoring goals for fun, but we must let go. We are back where we belong, the Premier League. You join us now at Craven Cottage, inside the flag, where we're surrounded by incredible photos of the past, but we must let go of the past. We must look to the future. And I'm pleased to say that I'm joined by a couple of our new signings, Manuel Solomon and Andreas Pereira. Guys, firstly, uh, welcome to the flag at Craven Cottage and uh, welcome to the Fulham Fix. How are you both? We're good. No, I'm fine. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, all good. Cheers for joining us there. When you arrived, who's, who's like, you know, when you arrived to Motspur Park, Manor, who's the, the first person that comes up and says hello? Which players? Who's the friendliest out of the Fulham bunch that you've met? I think most of the, most of the players are really, really friendly. Yeah. Mo all of them, yeah? uh, I can say. Yeah, really, you know, welcoming. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what was the first one. But uh, but uh, so far I like I like everyone. Everyone are being so so nice, and so the our dressing room is is really nice. Awesome, Andreas. What about yourself when you arrive? Is there anyone that stood out? Came rushing up to you, greeted you? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Rodrigo because you yeah. know he's Brazilian. Of course. So I spoke with him straight away, but after of course uh, you know Rompalinha because we speak Portuguese and yeah. and you know Solomon as well. So. But I've been speaking to everyone, you know, uh, they treated me very well yeah. and uh, I've been very well welcome from everyone. So you guys have settled in OK, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I would say. Now, obviously, we've got a big test in a few days' time. The Premier League kicks off. Uh, we're playing Liverpool. It's a massive, massive game. How's the atmosphere in the camp at the moment amongst the players? How's, how's everyone uh, feeling about it? Start with you, Manuel. Um, everybody knows what uh, Liverpool means. Everybody knows it. Uh, it's one of the best teams in, uh, in the world, in the Premier League, of course. Um, they have a great team and uh, we're looking forward for, for this game. Uh, you, we know it's going to be quite difficult. Uh, maybe the most difficult game that we, we could get in the first uh, game. Mm. But uh, we'll try to give everything and we'll try to, to get a good result. Fingers crossed. I think, uh, yeah. Andreas, you've, you've played Liverpool before and on, you know, a few times. How are you feeling ahead of the game? Uh, like Manor said, you know, it's going to be a difficult one, mm. but uh, we know what, what to expect. Um, we know they're a top team, but we know as well that, uh, you know, Fulham is in the Premier League. We are top as well, so we, we don't have to be scared. We have to be, we have to be you know, confident mm. and at our ground, I think we can, we can harm any team in the Premier League. That's mm. what we have to believe. So. You know, uh, we will need the fans for sure, yeah. and uh, and we are preparing to do our best. Now, you, uh, Andreas, let's talk a little bit about your move because you were over uh, playing in Brazil. Um, let's talk a little bit about the process. When did you first hear uh, of interest um, in yourself from Fulham? Um, I spoke with uh, Marco Silva, you know, a few months back. Um, he asked me. Uh, how it's, uh, you know, in my mind, if it was possible for, for me to come and, and what do I think of the project and, you know, the things he told me really, you know, I really liked it. And uh, so I said to him straight away, I want to come and, uh, you know, I want to do this uh, project with Fulham uh, in the Premier League. And, you know, I'm, I'm very interested and, mm. and I wanted to work so with him as well. Yeah, and what did he say specifically about the project? Did he say that, you know, obviously he's, he's a very, very ambitious man, Marco Silva. Was he just talking about that ambition, about establishing Fulham uh, in, the, in the top tier? Yeah, it's uh, because he said to me it's a very big club, uh, you know, that it can be uh, had always going up and then down. So mm. he wants to make a, a team, you know, that he wants to stay in the Premier League. He wants to do not only stay, but play well and mm. with his identity. And yeah. it's something that... With what I think about football is the same way he thinks about football. So uh, we got in sync straight away about yeah. that. And I think that was very important. It was certainly um, when your name came up and we heard, you know, amongst the fans, you know, you know, Fulham are interested in signing yourself. It made sense. I mean, the way Marco Silva plays, the way you play, the style, it, it sort of fit perfectly. Uh, how does it feel as well? Obviously, you, you've had a number of sort of loan signing, signings, you know. Does it feel nice now having a permanent home? Yeah, I was looking for this as well, um, you know, to have a permanent home, uh, to stay where, in a place where I can, you know, focus on my football and, mm -hmm. and that I know I, I want to be here for a couple of years and, and just focus on doing my best for Fulham. 
Now, Mana, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself um, and your your footballing journey. Is it the first time playing in English football? So, so just let's go back a little bit. How did you start out? Um, you mean it was Fulham? Or no, no, before. Let's, before. Let's, let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Um, so I started my senior career when I was 17. I started to play in, uh, in, uh, in Israel, in Maccabi Petah Tikva. Um, and then after two years, I was sold to, to Shachla mm. And for me, it was, a, it was a big move. As a kid moving from a small team in Israel to a big team in, in Ukraine, a Champions League team. And in Ukraine, I experienced lots of, uh, lots of great moments together with, with the team. Um, I played Champions League against so, so many big teams yeah. and uh, titles. And, but my main goal was, was, has been always to, to come here, to go up to, to England. I think the best football is here, the best league is here. And this was my goal from there. From so the that's always been, it's always been your dream to come and play Premier League football? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think after I moved to, to Shakhtar, I, I realized it more. And mm. that's the place that I want, I want to be. I think that um, most of the players in Europe, everyone wants to come here. Uh, everyone want aiming on this, on this target. And I'm glad that I'm, I'm here eventually. And do you have... Uh, were there like heroes of yours? Were there the players that you looked up, uh, up to and admired? Because obviously you're still a very young guy. Um, who was it that you were looking to, specifically in the Premier League, that you're like, yeah, I want to, I want to be that guy. I want to, I want to be like him. Um, lots of lots of people tell me that I that I look a bit and I play a bit like Eden Hazard. He told me <laughs> yeah. this as well okay. at the first days. And I was, I think he's, he's a great player and Very of good course, player. Yeah, amazing player. And uh, he's been my, my idol, my idol uh, with some more players. And I wish I can do a similar way or to play similar uh, to him. It would be perfect. Yeah, we'd like that too as well. <laughs> speaking on behalf of all Fulham fans here, that would be lovely. Um, now, listen, we've done a little bit of a Wikipedia deep dive on yourself. Is it true that your name, uh, Manor, has a special meaning for your parents? Um, they met, they, they, they met on, on a boat okay. and that's where they met uh, when they studied the physical education. Okay. Okay. And there is part on the, on the boat it's called Mano. Okay, yeah. is it literally the part of the yeah, boat? Yeah, one, one part of the boat. I feel even, you know, in Ibu, nobody knows what, what Mano means. Yeah. So everybody asks me, it's not a popular name, you know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so this is the meaning. Okay, nice. Yeah. And they, did they meet at that exact part of the yeah. boat? Did yeah. you really? I okay. think, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That's, what, that's the story no. they're sticking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they studied together. So I don't know if they met before. I think they met before. Yeah. But they were studying also on, on, on this boat. So. Okay. Yeah. Nice. No, I like yeah. that story. I, I think as well, if you don't, if you don't mind, uh, you know, without, you know, you've probably been asked this by so many different people. Um, but how hard has it been for you uh, to watch um, what's been happening in Ukraine unfold and to be part of that? I mean, it, you know, awful to watch from abroad, but to actually be part of it. And, and you know, how, yeah. has that, how has that been, if you don't mind talking about it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've talked about this a lot. Mm. Um, I've experienced what, what happened there and what's been happening there. Uh, it still exists, you know, it didn't, it hasn't over or something. No. And it's, it's a terrible situation, what's going on there. And I'm still speaking to, to my friends there and they're still suffering, even though in Kiev the situation is fine. But um, I wish it will be solved really soon and they will go back to their normal lives. Because uh, what's, what happens there, it's, it's terrifying and terrible. Yeah. And things like this cannot happen. Agreed. Agreed. Um, much like with Andreas here, what, what, what did Marcus say? When Marcus Silva spoke to you uh, previously, you know, prior to joining Fulham, what was spoken to you about joining the club? What, what, what did he put across to you? Yeah, we've spoken several th times um, already since the December or January, I think. And as explained, uh, Andreas explained me the same as well, that he wants to have a, a competitive team mm. uh, which can compete in the Premier League and can stay up. He wants to see an off offensive football, uh, which I like as well. Mm. And he told me about my, my position, that he, he wants to, in, in his philosophy of game, he wants to, to use the wingers a lot. Mm. And I'm a winger, so, so he explained me why, why I should come here. 
and my aim was to come to the Premier League and after I spoke with, with Marco and explained me about his philosophy and about Fulham, um, I knew that that's the place that I want to, to come. And you've ended up uh, in, in a, a lovely part of the UK as well, London, Surrey, this whole yeah. borough around here. Andreas, we'll, we'll start with you. Have you found it sort of living in uh, this area? You, you settling in all right? Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice area, like you said. Um, my family, my wife and kids really like it over here. Mm. So that's the best thing uh, I could have, you know, happy family. So uh, now... It makes life a lot easier, exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Are you Are you doing any like any sightseeing, anything like that at all? Um, Have went, you had a chance? I, I mean, you know. Yeah, we had a lot of training, but uh, I went for a few walks with you know with my with my daughter and my son. And where about? If you don't mind me asking, where whereabouts? What are we talking like London walks, or did you go sort of? Do you venture into the Surrey Hills or anywhere like that? No, not yet. Not in the hills. I would say some beautiful walks. I could yeah. I could recommend some nice walks if you fancied it. Yeah, I would like to, but uh, no, I just been to the city center. Yeah. Had a few walks there, and and to be fair, I've been resting a lot because the training was very hard. Yeah. In a way, that's that, yeah, that's that's quite a nice thing to hear that you know you're knackered from that. What about yourself, man? Or uh, you know, living in London? Yeah. You know, had, had you visited before? No. No. Okay. For me, it's my first time uh, here. I haven't found uh, found an apartment yet, but uh, soon I will I will find. But uh, I know it's one of the best cities in the world. It's an yeah. amazing place to live, especially Fulham, the area of Fulham. And I'm looking forward to to find a, an apartment. Yeah, man, you definitely. Know, have, have, have you got have you got a, a, an itinerary of uh, of like you know what you want to see first? You're like right top of the list. It's Big Ben. You then know, it's Madame so Tussauds. I, I've been there already. Oh, have you already? Yeah, yeah. Tick, you tick yeah, that one off the list. The center, I've been to the center, and okay. it's amazing. Yeah. So you've done a bit of the sightseeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have either of you done the open top double decker bus yet to it? No. You're no, sitting no. up the top like One Direction did in their video. No, no. no we no, can no. all pretend we don't know, but we know. We've seen the video. <laughs> um, and also, so, you know, you're here at Craven Cottage. Uh, for Fulham fans, this is like, you know, the holy grail, this, this place. You know, it's often topping the list of you know, most beautiful, best loved stadiums in the country because of its positioning where it is by the River Thames, but also because it's, it's still so original, you know, here, this, you know, this part of this, this wall here is, is grade two listed, this stand, you know, it, it's loved by us. So firstly, um, uh, Andreas, you played here, obviously, uh, in the friendly. Um, how did you find playing uh, at Craven Cottage in a Fulham shirt? Um, you know, it was a special feeling, you know, first game in a Fulham shirt here. Um, like you said, I know the history you know, it's a very original ground, uh, you know, and, you know, I straight away felt something, uh, you know, the connection with the fans, you see it's different here, mm. you, there is something special in this stadium, and I'm just happy that I'm here and I, I want to make part of this, this club, you know. And the cottage as well, like, it, I mean, you've got to admit that's original, being, uh, you know, getting yourselves ready in a, in a tiny cottage, yeah. it's, there isn't anywhere like it in the world, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's different, so... You're going to bump elbows with the person yeah. next to you. You've got to be careful when you're putting on your shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Uh, and Manuel, like, obviously you haven't played here yet, but you were here. Uh, I saw at, at yeah. the game you were sitting in the Riverside stand up from us <laughs> and, um, you know, fans were all over you asking for pictures. How did you find it? Yeah, it, uh, it, feels, it feels nice, you know, the atmosphere here and the, co the coaches, how it, how it designed. And you know it looks really, really original, mm. and there is there is a magic in the air that's difficult to, to explain. And the fans really they they, they sit like literally on the ground, you yeah. know, next to the players, yeah. and the, the atmosphere looks really really warm, yeah. and uh, feels like like a family. It is, it, you know, it, there's there's nowhere like it. It's, yeah. it's so unique. So yeah. I mean, I and I'm, I would say I'm a you know as a Fulham fan, but it really is a special, special place to play yeah. football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, sure. it's, uh, it's wonderful. Um, right, let's, uh, you know, one more thing. Let's just talk, just touch on it, because it is coming up before we uh, head to some fan questions. We've got a lot of fan questions, see how many we can get through. Uh, Liverpool, you know, it is a, a tough opening game, but it is magical at the same time, isn't it? First game of the season at home at Craven Cottage. Are you feeling that magic? Um, yeah, me, I'm feeling, you know... I can't wait for the game to start, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, it's looking like this week is so long. Yeah. We st it's still, you know, we have a few days to go, but I'm like, I just want the game to start and, and the Premier League to start and to see the fans in the crowd and then, 
you know, hopefully we can do a great result and, and win the game, it would be even more special. I mean, it, it, it would make you an instant hero. <laughs> like, honestly, like the quickest way to become a hero. Um, what about yourself, Mano? I mean, start of the Premier League, some, a place you've dreamed of playing for for so long. I mean, that must feel pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really exciting. Um, as you said, I can't wait to, to get to, to start. Um, we've been waiting for, for this moment for, long, for so long and we're looking forward for this game. For me, it maybe will be my first game in the Premier League, which is, I've always dreamed of. And more, it will be more special because it's, it's against Liverpool. And so it's a it's a great game to start. And do you know what? Like we beat them recently, like not long ago. We were, you know, really? yeah, it wasn't wasn't long ago. Fulham, last, last season before Three, last. Yeah. And it's also worth mentioning as well a player that's just walked through the door from Arsenal, uh, Burnt Leno as well. Really excited to have him on board. Have you guys met him yet? Had a chance to yeah, uh, yeah, chat to him? Yeah, we met him. We met him today. What's he like? Uh, Seems like a, like a great uh, guy. Yeah, yeah. He seems like, like a great a guy. Good guy, yeah. yeah. Very calm, you know. Chill. Very calm, yeah. chill, yeah. And everybody knows that he's a great goalkeeper, yeah. and he can add us a lot. So awesome! Are we looking forward to seeing him play too? As yeah, well? yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Yeah. Uh, right, I put out earlier that we were interviewing the pair of you guys uh, on the Fulham Fit. It's got tons of questions. Um, I don't know how long we got left. We'll try and get through as many as possible. So I'll do it uh, relatively quickly and see how we do. Um, uh, let's start with a, a tweet from White Noise, Andreas. Uh, what is your preferred position to play and why? Uh, my preferred position, I play as a number eight, um, attacking midfielder. Mm. Um, why? I would say it's my position, it's natural, it feels natural to me. I like to you know, help the strikers to get a goal, to get an assist, I like to score. So, you know, I like to, to play that position. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, and uh, same from White Noise as well. Amano, what is your best time over 100 metres? And are you faster than Kevin Mbabu? Oh. Now, Kevin Mbabu, he's claiming to be he's pretty very fast. fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Really, I have no idea. I think he's, maybe he's faster than me. Maybe I'm quicker, you know, on small, uh, on small spaces. But uh, if, you let, if you make a competition between between us for 100 meters, I don't know, but I would say that he, he will take, but I don't know. You think, uh, you think it's him? Yeah, you yeah. Just if it will be on you, shorter, you, shorter meters, I think I will take, but uh, on long distance, I think... I think you're just being modest, maybe. <laughs> no. he, do, he does look incredibly fast. Uh, this is from Emma Hill. Uh, she said, uh, what have you heard about the club before you came to Fulham and why, Andres? Um, you know, I obviously know Fulham. Um, since I was in Manchester, I played uh, many times against. Mm. Um, so it's a team that I always knew before. And and she say why I know. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, why and before you came to Fulham and why Fulham? Sorry. Why Fulham? Yeah, um, yeah like I said, you know, Marco uh, speak with me um, and and told me the project of the the club and and of course Fulham is a is a great club in the Premier League. Uh, to do well, you know, they have everything, you know, a nice, nice stadium, good fans, uh, good facilities. So it's it's a it's a perfect scenario. Absolutely, and it won't be long before hopefully the pools finish. There's a pool happening up at the top ah, of the really? river. So after a good yeah. game, just take a dip in the pool, <laughs> use a London. <laughs> Perfect play. Why wouldn't you come for that? Why wouldn't you come? There we go. That's yeah, your re yeah. reason for joining Fulham right there. Yeah. Um, uh, Mano, how did it feel scoring against Real Madrid? Oh. Oh, that's, uh, by the way, that's from Don Massimo. Okay. Um, it was amazing. Really, really amazing. Um, first goal against Real Madrid was away in Madrid. Um, we were leading 3-0 mm. at the, the halftime, uh, after my, my third goal, you know. Um, it felt like, like a dream when you, when you face Real Madrid in the Champions League and when everybody, when everybody watches the game yeah. and, and see your ability and, and see, see your goal. Um, it was a special, a special dream for me, and also after the game, it takes time to to realize that you you actually score against Real Madrid, and uh, really I couldn't open my phone. You know the fans in Israel are are pretty crazy, and uh, there are many fans of Real Madrid over there of, and of Barcelona. So I couldn't open my phone for say, for several you, days. You yeah. probably had to put your notifications on yeah, silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used I used the computer really. To, yeah. to talk with my parents, or I used my friends, my girlfriend's phone to, to speak with oh, them. Oh, so wow, we are literally talking. You had to get rid yeah, of your yeah, phone. Yeah, 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 I couldn't because I tell you wow. that some in Brazil is the same, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But Israel, is, we, there are not so many players who play you know, in Champions League or in Premier League. Yeah. So if you do something special, score against Real Madrid or, or Manchester City or something like this. So everybody, everyone calls you, uh, journalists, reporters, family, friends, everyone just calls you and want to, want, want to hear about this. Yeah, yeah, but and so can, it was crazy. Question for you, can you walk around Israel without being bothered? Um, usually not. Usually, That's, yeah, not. I can imagine, and especially yeah. since scoring against Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. usually not. For sure. You'd have to wander around with security. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Probably, you'll be absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's difficult, you know, yeah. if you want to walk with his family or with your girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes it's difficult, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, a question from uh, Mickey Mandan. Um, Andreas, uh, what player at the club has impressed you most? Um, I would say Mitro, you know, because he's, his goal scoring ability, he's always in the right position. Mm. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you look at him in training and you, you, you don't think he's, you know, like, in the training, like, you know, looking at us and suddenly he's there at the right position and he scores. But, um, you know, apart from him, that everyone knows that he can score easily goals, uh, you know, I have a lot of players have a lot of quality, so I was impressed, you know, with, with the team overall that, you know, it's a very good team. Yourself, Mano? Um, one player that impressed me the most, I would say also Mitro. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Not just because of what he does on the pitch, um, also because what he, he does off the pitch, um, how he prepares himself uh, to the training, after training, his recovery. Um, you see that he's a professional football player and he wants to succeed. And also on the pitch, you see his abilities and even if he doesn't touch mm. the ball always, in the end he's there, he's there yeah. to score. And he yeah. wants this more than, than everyone, the, the goals he wants more than everyone. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to end. We've got time for, uh, we got, okay, we've got a few, a uh, little bit more time. I mean, you also get some very random questions. Uh, there's one guy that's adamant that I asked this question. Um, let me see if I can find his name um, a little bit. Uh, have either of you guys ever heard of a steak bake? No. <laughs> okay. Steak bake? Let me see if I can find us. Oh, bless him. Now I can't even find uh, the question that he's put. It's a, it's a guy that claims he's been tweeting us for a long time saying, please, can you just ask them uh, if they've heard of a steak bake and if they like a steak bake? Have you ever eaten at Greg's? Greg's, no. I hope this answers your question. I will never ask another of your questions again, mate. <laughs> this is the response. No, they've never heard of a steak bake or from Greg's. It's basically like steak yeah. in a pastry. Okay. I mean, you know, you're in the UK now. At some point, you're going to have to try a steak bake. Steak okay. bake. I mean, I don't know if it'll be ever on, on, on the, you know, on the, in the so canteen at Mosper Park. No, I've never heard You've about been it. here for a yeah, long time. Yeah, I've been here a long time. You've been here for a long time. you never had a steak bake? In no. Manchester, surely. Steak Manchester bakes, steak bakes everywhere. No. No? Manchester is a different country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, one for you here. Uh, this is um, uh, from Luke, or Ajaboe. Um, wants to know, Mano, is it true you speak Portuguese? Yes. Why? Because when I, when I arrived in Sharta, um, there were Ukrainians and, uh, and Brazilians. After the, after the teams were Brazilians. So, the, and the, also the technical staff was Portuguese, the coach and everyone. So, the, the coach used to speak Portuguese, mm. and there was one translator into Russian. So, he translated to Russian, and there was one guy from the staff who translated for me to, to English. So I needed to learn either Portuguese or Russian. So Portuguese was much easier for me and my teammates to, of, of, the, of the attack were, were Brazilians. So also my, my best friends there were Brazilian. So I had to learn Portuguese in order to communicate because most of the players there didn't speak English. And is that, did that help sway as well coming to yeah. Fulham and speaking to Marco Silva? With Marco, English is still easier for me. So okay. then Portuguese. So, so do, you, do you speak in English to Marco? Yes. Okay. Sometimes English, sometimes Portuguese. But uh, with the Brazilian guys, with Andreas, yeah. uh, with Joao, I speak Portuguese. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's incredible. Um, right. I reckon. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do this one. We've got time for a couple more questions here. Uh, this is from Dunk, uh, Duncan Paveling. Um, are there players, uh, players that have previously played for Fulham that you have admired? That's to either of you guys. I don't know if you're aware too much of the history of Fulham or any players that have, uh, have you know, played for us in the past. Um, 
yeah, Berbatov, you know. Oh, of course, an outrageous player, yeah, yeah. It's a player that, uh, you know, I admire a lot. Um, the way he plays is, you know, mm. just, it's it's lovely to see him just, you know, walk on the pitch, mm. you know, in the, and without even touching the ball. So, yeah. but when he scored the goals, the way he plays is just, yeah, something different. It's the only time I think I've heard a whole stadium kind of gasp yeah. when he plucked the ball out of thin air, literally, it was kind of, it's halfway across the pitch, one of the bigs, and he just, just no bounce, just literally stopped it dead on the floor, and the, the whole stadium just went, oh, never heard that before. Uh, final question, uh, and this is uh, a bit of a dumb one, I think, to end on, but you know, important as well, it's important sometimes, these dumb ones. Uh, this is from uh, J Brian R 91 would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Andreas, so would you rather fight, <laughs> got a picture this here, a hundred duck-sized horses, 100 of them, yeah. or one horse-sized duck? You've got to think of the size of that beak, haven't you? So Ooh, this is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a think, guys. Yeah. Take your time, you know? this, is, this, is, this is important stuff. Yeah. I'll take the, the one big. You're going to go with the big duck, yeah. the horse-sized duck? Yeah, yeah. I just feel the damage it could do with the beak, do you yeah. know what I mean? Whereas, you know, little horses? No, it will take time with that. Ducks are to do aggressive it. as well. Huh? Yeah. yeah, they can yeah. be. I see them when I was walking in the park with my... <laughs> <laughs> they can be aggressive, yeah. yeah. You, you, have you, so since you've been here, you've been attacked by ducks? No, 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 not attacked, <laughs> but... No, but uh, they, they, they've got a little bit in your face, up yeah, in your grill. Yeah. I would say, I would, if he takes the big duck, I would take the... You'll the take hunt. the little horses. Yeah, yeah, all right, between them. At some point, we'll set this up and we'll see who wins. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's end with a more, on a more serious note now. Um, Tell us your aspirations and your goals for this season. Manuel, we'll start with yourself. What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Um, first of all, to show good football, to deliver good football to our fans. Um, so they will be happy to come here to the cottage. And everybody knows that our main goal is to stay up and to be competitive this year um, and to try to, to get points um, in any any in any pitch and it doesn't matter if you play home or away and these are my my goals for 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 this year for the team address um yeah like Manor said you know i think uh, the main objective is to stay in the premier league but um after you know we can have a good start or we we have to we can dream i think with the quality we have in the group uh, you know with with players that we have and and, and especially the manager that we can, uh, you know, even uh, achieve higher things. Um, we can always dream big, and and you know, and, and achieve a little, a bit less underneath that. That's uh, what we're looking for. Yeah, I like that. Good answers. Well, listen, uh, guys. Best of luck for this Saturday and for the coming season. Um, you know, it's uh, you know, we know it's a, it's a. It's a big season ahead, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun watching you guys play. Um, so, yeah, best of luck with it, and hopefully we'll catch up again during the season. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Nice one.